Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this earrings, I'm going to be working with porcelain clay. I just prefer to work with this one. Feel free to work with polymer clay. It works as well. So I'm going to be taking some of it. I'm going to be rolling this, working on top of some parchment paper and using my two green rings. Those are there just so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my clay. I do have the DIY for this. Check it out. I'm going to be using a decorating baking tool. It's my Wilton 1M cleaning this after I'm done using this as a cookie cutter I'm just gonna be cutting two shapes of this really random but I'm going to be using one of these pens I'm gonna be opening this and I'm gonna be using that part as a cookie cutter as well taking out the ink and stuff cutting a small circle in the middle as in the middle as you can make it to be so I just just to mark a tiny dot in the middle when you remove the ink though through the other side you can kind of see where it is and then just go from there then I'm going to be taking one of these sewing pens and I'm going to like smooth the edges. I'm going to be using an exacto knife. This is where I'm going to be making this like the front facing hoops just by cutting two lines like this, like straight lines, until it looks kind of like a C. Then again, smoothing all the edges with my toothpick. I'm going to be using four eye pins for this part. I do have a DIY showing you how to easily make some eye pins yourself and I'm going to be cutting them. I don't have the measurements on how much I cut it, but kind of like this. And this is where it can get kind of tricky. So I'm going to be using my sewing pin again. And from the inside, like from the sides from the inside, I'm going to be making a hole with my pin. Once I have done that, I'm going to be placing my cutted eye pin in there doing the same thing for both if you're working with polymer clay well i never done this with polymer clay but what i would do is maybe you want to bake the eye pins in there it's pretty much up to you and then just remove them and use new ones or just make the holes bake them and then just place your eye pins after but for me my clay dries with air so i'm just gonna leave this in let them dry arranging my eye pins just before they are fully dry this clay dough once it's dried it tends to shrink a little bit i'm going to be painting them rubbing a toothpick to just help myself using this off-white acrylic paint i have a diy showing you how i made this it's actually really easy and looks really cute painting this whole thing except my eye pins I'm giving them a couple of coats and then just letting them dry if you can work with a detail brush or a smaller brush, I do have like a few detail brush, I just don't have them now with me. Using a couple of ear wires, opening them with my pliers, placing them through those eye pins in the middle and then just close it again. I honestly love how they look. Simple but statement, they are really fun to make and wear. And I love how they move when I am talking and just moving my head around or when I say no. You can dress them up or down. They're one of those I think that they go with everything and they look really cute with almost any outfit. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you liked them as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more earrings that I have on my channel. I share a bunch of different things on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of them and share them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.